Hello everyone, welcome back to Adventures in Millerland. And this week we wanted to talk about our pet Kaya. She's a yellow lab and she is really pregnant. She's about to get picked up by the breeder. And we'll talk about what it means to be a guardian owner of a dog, at least how we've set it up with the breeder and how that works out. This is Kaya's third litter of puppies and we can't wait to, to sh bring you along, show you the puppies when they come, but for right now, Let's take a look at Kaya, and I want to, we want to introduce you guys to her. We've shown her in a few videos before, but she's rather large right now with a lot of puppies in her. <laughs> and here is Kaya. Oh my goodness, she is big, and uh, she's actually getting picked up. But like I just like I just said a moment ago, she's actually going to get picked up in just a few minutes by the breeder, and we are her guardian owners. And we are half owners with her, with the, we are half owners of Kaya with uh, the breeder. And we agreed that the breeder would have rights to the first four litters, and this is Kaya's third litter. And she is an amazing, amazing pet. She is such an amazing dog. Obviously, pretty as heck. You can hear her breathing. We feel bad every time this happens because in the last week she just feels, she sounds like she's struggling just to breathe sometimes. We're actually not going to have Kaya for about, oh gosh, six or so weeks here at home. We're going to go see her uh, at the breeders um, and her puppies, but we got to wait a couple of weeks after she has the puppies for the puppies and her to bond and connect so that when we visit she won't want to ditch them and come back home with us. We want to show you what she looked like before she got picked up by the breeder. So I'm gonna put the camera down, stop recording, and in just a moment, you're gonna see Kaya with her new puppies. We can't wait for that to happen. So you just saw Chris showing you Kaya when she was pregnant. Uh, now it's about two weeks later and we are on our way to go visit her and see her cute little puppies. On our way there, we stopped for lunch at a gas station, which might sound weird, but in California, in the Central Valley where we live, there are some amazing places to go get some really authentic Mexican food. So we wanted to show you this delicious food that we got at the gas station. I got a burrito, the girls got tacos, and Chris got a burrito. So good. It's a little chilly out, so Alyssa yeah. and Lindsay are huddling together to stay warm. Yeah. Freezing. But I gotta... how's the food, girls? <laughs> some friends of ours moved to Indiana, and one of the things they said was that they are really missing the Mexican food from California. And, and this might be one reason that I don't think I'm ever going to leave California. Mexican food is just amazing. And if you ever come visit California, you gotta stop at like a taco truck or just, just a hole in the wall Mexican place and get some delicious food. Mm. So good. That went quick. I'm almost done with the burrito. Something amazing about a lot of good taquerias here in California are the fresh tortillas. The process of watching them make the tortillas makes me know this is going to be good. So it's just, it's just amazing. What's even better than the tortillas though is the salsa. Yeah, they, salsa. Every bite, lots of salsa. Very spicy. Very spicy. Oh, oh, oh. she's still. Um, oh gosh. Okay. Sweetie. It's windy. That's it for lunch. Quick stop, but it was so, so good. Yeah. And now we're off to see Kaya and the puppies. Yay. We're not bringing Kaya home today, and we'll talk a little bit more about how, what it means to be guardian owners of a dog and why we chose to do that with Kaya versus other options of having a dog. So, but right now we're going to get in the car and go see our dog and the puppies. Yep. So we are okay. here at the breeders, and you guys excited to see your dog? Yes. I yeah. See my Kaya. Good. Yeah. Go. Let's go. Okay. His little tongue. Oh my gosh, why are you okay? Looking for mommy. Oh yes, you are. Poor Kaya, man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. I'm such a big girly. Secretly dying inside. I know. Seriously. Yeah. Oh you know, you could lay down. Really getting in there. Oh Sweet girl. Sweet. You're such a good mommy. Yes, you are. 
You are a good mama. Sweet girl. So we've been hanging out with Kaya and her puppies for, gosh, a half an hour, 45 minutes now. It's been so fun just catching up with Kaya and just hanging out with her, seeing her puppies, and letting our girls play with the puppies. And the puppies really aren't at an age yet where they can play. I think their eyes just opened like a day or two ago. So they, we don't even know if they can see anything yet. We'll be back in about a week or two to see Kaya and the puppies again before Christmas and before we head out of town on vacation. It's just been so fun catching up. Let me show you a little bit about what they do here and how they take care of Kaya and the puppies so they can be together, so Kaya can be a great mom and nurse them and keep them clean. But let me show you kind of what goes into all that. Oh, there's a little one Carrie's got. She has six girls and two boys. This is one of the boys. Mm -hmm. That's and they, they differentiate the, the puppies by the color collar they have. This one's red. And this is one of the boys? Yeah, the boys are red and blue. Yeah. Alyssa loves just hanging out in here with the pups. Kaya's doing a good job letting them eat and keeping them clean. They have uh, both dogs and they have another dog in here too with her puppies. They got a chocolate with mom. This with, is Kona. This is Kona with uh, some yellow and chocolate labs in there. And they're doing a good job just resting and sleeping and she's getting a little break. All the puppies are about the same age. When they get, when they get a little bit older, they'll move outside. They have kennels outside and uh, they have a little shower over here so they can wash off the, the puppies and the mom. Puppy shower. Yeah. And they even have a heat lamp. This thing right here is a little heat lamp to keep the puppies warm when it's cool out. Uh, but they keep this area really nice and clean and warm for them. And yeah, as Carrie says, as they get older, they're gonna go out to the kennel. We'll show you guys that in a moment. The breeder uh, houses Kaya and her puppies here until the puppies are ready to be taken home to their forever home. And Kaya will come back home with us. And we can't wait for that, can we? Yes, but she's not ready yet. She doesn't want to leave her puppies yet. Yeah, and she shouldn't leave her puppies yet. They need they need her for a little bit longer. Look at the oh, little face. Oh gosh. Look at the tiny little claws. Yes. Look at those things. They make cute little noises too. Oh, little yawn. Oh, yeah. This one's like sleeping. That one's like so tired. So tired. Bye bye, Kaya. We love you. You're so tired. So cute. Bye, Kaya. We'll miss you. So we're just about to head out, yep. and we just love visiting our dog and seeing her puppies. And but it is hard because we miss her. Um, that's the hardest part about having a guardian dog. So basically, what it is to be a guardian dog is uh, we're not a guardian dog. We're a guardian, guardian family. Guardian family. <laughs> um, we so they sell this breeder is an excellent breeder they sell these dogs mm -hmm. for quite a bit of money yep and but they do need families to take care of some of the mom dogs mm -hmm. in between the time when they're not having puppies so yep. that's what we do uh we did not pay for kaya we got her for free and she's the best dog in the whole world in our opinion <laughs> but but it is difficult um they do all kinds of you know testing to make sure she's healthy and ready to have puppies the initial agreement that we have with the breeders is that uh, the breeders have rights to the first four rounds of litters or first four litters yeah and which is all the dogs she will have yeah and she this is her third so she has one more round of litters as long as she's still healthy the puppies are healthy mm -hmm. and she's a great mom so we're expecting that they'll do one more yeah and then after that we have co-ownership with the breeders as guardians and then currently like 50 50 ownership and then after that after kaya has her fourth round then she's 100 percent ours yeah it's just a different way of having a dog it really intrigued us when we heard about it and we got connected to this through some friends of ours mm -hmm. it's just worked out so great yeah, they're a great family. Mm -hmm. It's a family business. They, they take such good care of the dogs. All of their the kids puppies. help yeah. with the care of the dogs. It's very clean and the dogs are loved and well cared for yeah. while they're here. The kennel, what we showed you inside where Kaya was with her puppies just now. They also have an outdoor kennel mm -hmm. and it's, again, um, just it's, they, they even have a whelping box. There's like a heat lamp in the boxes. So as the puppies get older and out of the first couple of weeks of being alive, mm -hmm. they put them in there so they're outside but in a warm environment as well. And it's really great. The crazy thing is it actually smells good in there, which is yeah. really surprising because 
uh, we've been to people's houses before that have had puppies and just one set of or one litter of puppies and a dog and, and it just doesn't smell too good but yeah. they they keep this such a clean place with lots of puppies and yeah. mamas and yeah. and we are so happy that we did this because we love kaya but it is always hard for us to be yeah. away from her for six weeks yep yep so i think we're gonna bring them back again in a couple weeks when we see more puppies i think in a week or two yeah um we'll yeah we'll uh, right probably be back time. but you guys won't see that we may post uh, some pictures we'll on just, our instagram yes that's what so we'll if do. you don't follow us on instagram Follow us on Instagram because we post a lot of stuff there that we don't ever show in vlogs. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, yeah, but let us know if, you know, how you have a dog. Do you have, you, did you get it purebred? Did you get it from a kennel? Um, rescue. Cause, rescue, because that's, that's an amazing way to have a dog as well. And so it just, everyone's a little bit different with how they go about having pets. But uh, this has worked out really great for us so far. So. Yeah. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss anything that we share and hit that notification bell. And we will see you really soon. I think we're gonna do homemade gingerbread houses and show the outside uh, decorations on our house next. So yeah. have a great week, we'll see you soon. All right, take care, bye. Bye.